Hi Cozy Gamers, welcome back to Lake. We are going to continue our journey in delivering mail and exploring the town and seeing what's going on with these townspeople. Why are they why are they the way that they are? I don't know. Let's find out. Good morning, Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do with a PO positive or pet B, followed by the weather. PO positive or pet P. Pet P. Damn, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. We need to go get our blueberry pie. Mm, thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. How about some music now? That was a quick weather. It's... Stunning. Have I said that already? Probably like 20 times. Okay, across the bridge we got uh, this one over here. Okay, we're gonna do uh, against. Oh, nobody heard that. Deliver mail. Hey, mom and dad have new neighbors. Ziegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. Can I just like go and explore? Or like, is that gonna do nothing? It did absolutely nothing. It's probably very linear. There's not part, probably any exploration that needs to be done. 201 Walnut Drive. Um, it's the next one over. There we go. 203 Walnut Drive. There we go. Uh-oh. Ah! 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 Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh my god. Close call. <laughs> Close call. This way again to go around. Let's not get hit. Oh my god, does Miss Jenkins have another package? Oh jeez. Okay, I'm gonna do a Yui. And here we go. Let's talk to Miss Jenkins again. Let's see how this goes. Meryl, dear! So glad you could come by! Oh, it's quite the emergency! What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer! He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't. <laughs> Literally, I'm not a vet. I mean, I'm not oh, a whoa, vet. Oh, oh, okay. He looks fine to me. Well, fact is, you're not a vet, are you? Do you know who knows about animals, though? It's Mr. Mackey. He runs the old bait shop by the lake. Could you take Mortimer to him? Um, no, that's literally not my job. Why can't you do- why, why literally, why can't you do it? I'm sorry, but I don't think I can do that. Driving around living creatures is a little above my pay grade. Hmm. I suppose rules are rules. But can you make an exception for poor little Mortimer? <laughs> I wonder... I wonder if I, like, either have to or if it's just gonna keep, like, making me... I don't know. Should I? Should I? You were a little rude. You were a little rude to me, so I don't know. Should I take your cat? Hmm. <sighs> Fine. Oh, all right. Here, little kitty. Come on. Wonderful. Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Oh, now, now, now my name is not Bye, Meryl. Now it's Meredith. Hi, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. Now she gets the name right, of course. Where do we take the vet? It's where we go. The, the vet is... The woods... Okay, we'll just circle around. Because either way, I have to, like, go all the way around, so... Alright, we're going in a tunnel. Yippee! Whoa! <laughs> Oops. I hit the goose. I hope that's not going to leave a dent. No, we're fine. Everything's good. I was jamming too hard on the radio. Everything is okay. All right, we're coming up to our package delivery spot, which is 
this the place, I assume. Motel. Okay, I'm gonna park like this, and nobody's gonna say anything about it. I don't want the cat. Do I really have to lug the cat around with me? No, okay, oh, I swapped it. It's heavier than I thought. What are you playing over there? Hello, sir. Parcel for you. Um, I hope I'm not disturbing, but here's a parcel for you. One minute, I'm busy. Um, I mean, we could just drop it off. Okay, sir. We could literally, we could Is that just... a parcel for me? No, it's for Bigfoot. You can just put it on the counter. All right, have a nice day. Okay, whatever. I mean, I know us gamers are a little crazy, but like we're not that rude, are we? <laughs> nice. Okay, let's go around and go to this vet to take care of the cat. Whoa! I used to think our spanner dam was just <laughs> Sorry. as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam. Driving crazily as I admire everything. Whoa, 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 wait. And I'm just like, <gasps> oh! <laughs> that's pretty. That's a little farm. How cute. I'm like hitting literally every fence and everything just so I can gawk at all the scenery. All right. So no coffee and pie today, but the vet is over here. So little detour and go to that little boat house, lake house, dock, wherever I was talking about earlier. Nice. Okay. All right, let's go get the cat. Okay. Kitty. Let's go, Mr. Mortimer the cat. Get checked out by Mackie. Bait tackle and boat rental. I don't know what he could know about cats, but okay. Up this way? Mr. Mackie. Mr. Mackie, I know you're closed, but. What? Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas, kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? Oh, I don't know. Probably, probably to be honest with you. I mean... <laughs> Cupcakes? I hope not. <sighs> Leave them with me. I'll put them on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Sounds good. Sure thing. Goodbye, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. <laughs> Uh, for crazy cat lady, uh, you really should know that you shouldn't be feeding your cats cupcakes. Maybe a small, tiny piece. Tiny. I mean like the most smallest piece. Make sure it's not chocolate though. Or anything, other ingredients I can't eat. <laughs> this is my getting, let's get going pace. It's a little slow still. Oh, this station is jamming. Okie dokie. Let's see here. Let's look both ways again. Not hit any cars. We got two males over there at the end and a couple more packages. Ooh, hold the sack. All right, I believe this one is the one with mail. And the next one over here. Hmm. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? Make sure we don't run over people. 
Right, safe to go. But why are you run why are you walking in the middle of the street? Like there's a sidewalk. Alright, we'll park in this little indent here. It's perfectly made for us. Ooh, ooh, don't not get hit by a truck. <laughs> Latest movie. Ooh, like a blockbuster. VHS. The Flick Shack. Oh. Uh oh, it's glitching. <laughs> Hold on, you're in your new Oh, now it's Talk about not we're fine. Apart. Oh, it's glitchy. It definitely is. Well, thank you then. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie Eastman. So what brings you to Providence Oaks? Um, used to live here. Now I didn't. Now I'm back. Grew up here. Now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Here. And now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here. Came to do myself a favor. Hmm. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. Uh, uh, how's the business? So, how's business? It's, uh, it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. <laughs> I guess it's because there's not much else to do around here. Might as well watch a flick, right? I mean, other than enjoy the scenery, but I guess that gets old after a while. Wouldn't, to me, it would never get old. Mm, you certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything. Nothing quite tickles the imagination like the right movie at the right time. Hmm, maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? <laughs> Little on the nose, don't you think? Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. Well, I'll check it All out. Right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Oh, okay. gee. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. Thanks for giving me the, uh... The lowest rating. Grimlins. There was something else. Talk to Angie. Can I say more? Hope you like the postman always rings twice. You only have to watch it once. <laughs> oh, that was just a quick little. They have space wars. Back to the present. <laughs> Meh, man. <laughs> Oh my god. Repo Woman. The Odd Father. That's funny. Look who's here to save us all. Ghost Blasters. Let's see here. The good, the bad, and the duck feet. <laughs> okay. Whatever. These are funny. Alright. I'll continue on our journey. No more dilly dallying. Oh, uh oh. Somebody's stuck. Uh oh. You're gonna hit my truck! Oh, you're fine. Okay, uh, 104 East Ooh, 3rd Street. Interesting. Okay, excuse you. All right, package over here. It looks like a hat. What on earth do these folks order? Like a small hat or something. That's what usually comes in those boxes. Okay, is somebody gonna talk to us today or nay? Yep. Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute, Commander Grace. Permission to explore? Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle <sighs> of a lunar landing. Sure. Here you go. Nice helmet, by the way. 
Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? <laughs> Buzz Aldrin. Guilty as charged. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? Y you don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. The helmet. Yeah, clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got me there. You've lived in Providence Oaks all this time? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans? I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed. That's cute. Even after the whole Challenger thing. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Married Quarterberry? Sounds, Sounds like, like you're right. doing great. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years. So, time flies. So, I heard you were back in town for a while, from Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. Uncle Stan there. The kitchen caught the kitchen fire. kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is going to have a field day. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now, at the diner. That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for Why do you say it like that? What? Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. Why is it? Is, I feel like everybody's acting a little like, I don't know, there's like, that's like the second person that's like acting a little like weird. I don't know if we can count Miss Jenkins, the crazy cat lady, um, treating us a little weird, but like, I just feel like something, or something else. You know, why did she say it like that? Like, yeah, maybe. Like, not everybody, ex you know. You can't stay in the same place forever. You gotta uproot yourself and move to wherever you need to go. So, well, I guess we're gonna find out. Oof. Here we go. End work day. Wednesday evening. Alright, are we gonna watch TV? Are we gonna read a book? Are we gonna figure out what's going on with Henri or not? Meredith, hi! Oh, hi Steve! How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? Oh, uh, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there's not much to do around here. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can... Add it? Huh? <laughs> uh, depends. <laughs> nice one, Steve. When will the files arrive, and when do you need the feedback? Ah, oh, well, it should arrive tomorrow, and I need it yesterday. <laughs> I could just send it to your post office, right? I guess. I guess. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87, add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet, bye. Maybe, maybe we're gonna decide to quit our job and move back into this little town and do mail full time here. All right, stay home and watch The Postman. Stay home and watch TV. Okay, let's watch, let's watch the movie. All right, well, let's watch this. And let's forgo what's going on with Henri. All right, Thursday, September 4. We're oh, next morning. Steve's parcel. 
And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. All right, Cozy Gamers, let's cut it off for now. So far, I really, really like this game. Very cozy. It's very calm. It's very you know very linear just delivering packages and talk to people and see what's going on i think there's definitely more to uncover um but we will see as we continue to play but it is very beautiful and i i'm really liking it so far so i hope you are enjoying this and i hope to see you in the next video